I'm going to composite a 3D render from Blender in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion. This is the shot I'm going to be working with. I've already done the sky replacement and added the planet. I first export a picture to use in the Blender camera so I know where the ship needs to stand. I parent the ship to an empty and rotate it so that it's laying down. Then I position the camera and change the lighting a little bit. When that's all done, I simply render an image on a transparent background. Back in DaVinci, I opened up my fusion clip and placed the ship in the scene. As you can see, the ship sits on the grass, so it needs to be in the grass. So I grab my original footage and place it over the ship. I then start drawing the grass back in, so that the ship is comfortably placed within the grass. I make sure to spend some extra time drawing some flowers back in as well, which makes the ship really sit well in the scene. Of course I didn't want to draw all the flowers, so I erased some of them. Now is the time to color grade the ship a bit. Objects in the background have less contrast, and we already have reference of this in the footage. The trees will serve as a visual guide for how much contrast we should remove from the ship. I then added another color grade node to make the ship a little bit more greenish, because it's located near the grass. Now it's time to draw the highlights. This really helps with fitting the object in the scene. I'll explain how to do this in an upcoming video. Now I also need to draw some shadows, as the light direction comes from behind the Slave 1 ship. We need to add some shadows on the front. Time to add some cloudy haze. I simply used the transparent cloud image and drew back in what I wanted to retain. This kind of acts like a volumetric. I drew some in the front and in the back. I then try to match the film grain of the object, the Slave 1, to the footage. Next I drew some glow on the ship to once again fit it into the scene some more. And then I added a lens blur, because the ship is too sharp for this shot, given its position. I then made some final adjustments and called it a day. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more Blender and Fusion tutorials in the future. And if you want to see how I made these Star Wars VFX, I highly recommend watching this video next. <laughs>